Hello, Variety Village Explorers. For those who don't know me, my name is Alyssa, and my current role at Variety Village is Head Camp Instructor. So today, I will be sharing a super fun activity with you all. I will first go on a nature walk and collect materials from the environment. With these materials, I will be creating a bird house and or bird feeder. Please note that this can be done over the course of one day or two days. <laughs> completed this activity over the course of two days. Yesterday I went on a nature walk with my family in my neighborhood. Before leaving, my family went over some ground rules which included make sure to have adult supervision, make sure to wear a glove and bring a bag for the materials you find, make sure you only pick stuff up from the ground, we do not want to hurt the environment, and finally when walking Make sure to stay six feet apart or a hockey stick length away from other people in the community. I expect that you all take these rules into consideration when going on your nature walk. Well, on my walk, I collected different materials from the environment. For example, leaves, sticks, bark, moss, and flower petals. I ask that you get creative when collecting your materials. <laughs> yesterday. Some ground rules for today include make sure to use your scissors and glue appropriately, make sure to ask an adult if you need help with anything, and most importantly, have fun. <laughs> workspace area. Next, I am going to take my a pencil or pen or marker, whatever writing utensil, and a milk carton of some sort, and I'm going to draw a square that I will be cutting out. So something like this. After, I am going to take some scissors, my scissors I found, and I'm going to cut that square out. This sometimes can be challenging, so if we need help, one of our ground rules was to ask an adult, correct? We have it. So I don't think it's big enough, so I'm just going to follow the edge a little bit and make it a little bit bigger. I can even turn it around and make another one on the back. I'm just going to add to this one. So I'd say I'm happy with this now. Next, I'm going to take some twigs I found and I'm going to put them on either side so that the bird is able to sit on these twigs and eat from the feeder. So when this is complete and before I put it outside, I'm going to fill this section with some bird seed. 
So for this, you can either try and shove them in. Sometimes you might need to make a little hole. There we go. There's one. And two. So next, I'm going to take my glue and take the materials that I found on my nature walk and start gluing them to my bird feeder. So these were the helicopters from the maple tree. Let me glue it on. Um, I think I'm going to take each peg off the pine cone. And I'm going to glue those on. Maybe I'll take this leaf and add it to the back of my bird feeder. Right in the middle. Oh, need more glue. Awesome. I am going to continue gluing the materials I found in my walk yesterday until I can no longer see the milk carton label. <laughs> bird feeder. It took a lot longer than I thought, but I still had so much fun doing it. Halfway through the process of gluing my materials onto the carton, I realized the white glue was not the best option due to the fact my materials kept falling off. I then used a glue gun and it worked much better. If you are completing this activity independently, I would recommend trying to use tape. But if you are completing this activity with an adult, I think your best option is using a glue gun because the materials will hold a lot longer on the carton. Now I'm going to make two little holes in either side of the feeder in order to hang it on the tree outside. I am going to use this little tool to make the holes. So I'm going to stick it through the side and watch it come out the other side. Perfect. So you can either use a popsicle stick, a string, or a shish kebab stick like me in order to hang it. So I'm just going to feed this through and I'm going to hang it on a branch like this. The final step before hanging it outside is adding the bird seed, which I have here. I'm just going to dump it into my bird feeder. And there you have it, a bird feeder and or bird house. activity i would love for you to share a photo of your final product in the comments below have fun and stay safe friday village